Interesting fact that I bet you didn't know. Your nipples and earlobes are the same distance apart. Welcome back everyone. <laughs> um, so, as you can see, I am busy with Sekiro. This is a very blind experience and these are my first impressions. So, stay tuned if any of you lovely viewers um, feel the need to give some advice. I would very much appreciate that. Um, but, first impressions of Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This is the game of the year edition so I have a bit of extra stuff not not very very relative stuff but I have it nonetheless so so far I am having an absolute blast it does however lack um, I think a proper tutorial might be the wrong way to describe what I'm feeling is the game has a tutorial it describes that you you parry your opponent's attacks, you attack to break their stance. What the game does not tell you, however, is the fact that the combat is highly revolved around your ability to parry and block. And the only attacks you really should not try and parry and block are the unblockable attacks that they mark with some sort of red sigil that pops up above your enemy's head. Now, I'm really having a blast. Um, I've recorded, I'm about two hours in, roughly, maybe a bit less. Um, so I'm still at the very start of the game. This this video is kicked off right after episode three of my Let's Play. So um, you guys will, will see this first and then the Let's Play will come up. Um, but yeah, this, it is a very, very unique feeling game. And what I have experienced so far, I'm still in Ashina outskirts. Oh wait, we don't have a map. Um, travel, here we go. Ashina outskirts. These are the places I have discovered and the stairway. There's a boss in the stairway. Let me just show you this thing. I cannot get past this thing. I have tried for roughly two hours worth of attempts. Um, plus minus 20 or... 20 odd deaths and with those 20 odd deaths um, something has started to spread known as dragon's rot which I'm very <laughs> scared to learn about um, but it is it is not very clear to me what I am necessarily doing wrong against this boss so I'm gonna show an attempt here on how how I'm struggling to take this guy down and I'm not confident that I will be killing him this very instant right away um, but you know these are basic enemies getting the parries off on them are a, it's a little bit easier than what you'd expect now oh no I shouldn't use my I want to use the sugar Oh no, okay, well, I made a mistake. See that attack there, the red sigil that popped up there, if you haven't played Sekiro yet, that is the red sigil I have spoken of. Now that attack he, he does, I have been able to avoid that attack very successfully. He does a... a very... random-ish attack. You can see there, I'm not sure... He charges at you with a grab attack that I have not been able to to dodge. And you can't deflect these attacks. So this guy, you pretty much have to um, dodge his attack. And here's another thing that I'm not very clear of. When he does... Oh my goodness. I don't want to die here really. I might just retreat. I fail this. But he hit so hard. And I'm not sure how to do that. Because it gives me the prompt to, you know, jump onto the guy. Or hoist myself towards him. And it doesn't it doesn't really help me out all that much. I don't know what to do when initiating that hoist. Let's rest real quick, reset everything.
So trying to take this guy down has been one hell of a struggle. Um, he, and it's a side boss, it's not even my first main boss. I don't think I've fought a main boss up until this point. Let's try this again. But yeah, first impressions, I really am enjoying this. It is just very... Um, in the first episode I asked, I wonder if this is going to be like a Dark Souls game. And it very much is not. The only Dark Souls aspect that I think it has is that it's, it has a very steep difficulty if it's not something you are used to. Um, but you know, other than that, it feels like Ghost of Tsushima had a baby with Dark Souls and they just decided to go for it and I could not dodge there. Oh my goodness, I'm dead. And that little chuck he does there, that thing yanks me very far. See, there, I don't know how, what I'm supposed to do with the fact that they allow me to... Oh, I'm dead. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with the fact that they allow me to grapple onto him, but then nothing comes from it. Oh, I'm dead now. This is proper dead. Well, I've been struggling for over two hours with this guy at this point. Probably, probably roughly two hours. I only have one footage, um, footage worth of attempt, and that is in the third episode, which is most of the episode. The rest I have just scraped. I don't want to record myself fighting this guy forever. So, his death might be off camera. We never know. Um, but yeah, I really am intrigued by this game. But it's it's still very vague on side quests. Uh, one of my side quests at the moment is to find another person with Dragon Trot. And if I believe... We have someone over here. Or close to here. Who has the dragon rod? Oh my goodness, that's a bit bad. There we go. We have someone right past that little gate there. Two people. Two of my NPCs have dragon rod. So, I'm just gonna go show you quickly what I think they want me to do. But, um, in terms of mechanics, this game is very polished, in my opinion. It is very smooth and very responsive. I mean, I don't even have to really think about making sure I press the button to do the deflect. It just does it. It's very responsive. And that I appreciate. I haven't played a game with such responsive attacks as of yet. Um, let's see here. Forget about my... I'm taking a blood sample. <coughs> Alright, so there's a lady. Oh, Lady Emma. She does the... She's trying to cure the... The dragon rot. And I am supposed to... Take it to her now. Luckily, I saw what they meant, or I, I, re I recognized the NPC they said had Dragon Rot. Now, my sculptor thingy, the dude at the start, he has Dragon Rot as well, which is um, kind of unfortunate. But we'll continue this questline in my Let's Play. Um, but now I'm going to give her the Dragon Rot and then... Bob's your uncle, but you still don't have a a thing to sort of track your progress. Like there is no, there's nothing here that really tells you. Listen, your quest, your next quest objective, or what, what, and that is something I very much appreciate. They do not hold your hand. I do feel that they should have in the intro at least, where they teach you the basics. Um, they should have at least made it very clear that, listen, deflecting or parrying is going to be very, very essential. Um, but they do have this little dude you may use on who you can practice. So, let's just check here. He has... Here we go. A whole 
slew of attacks you can back whenever you like. continuously you kill this guy he's under out. and you can hone your skills there which I probably should do um, but yeah so far my only complaint is the lack of lack of emphasis on parrying um, you really experience that and death is punishing I mean your your NPCs get sick on death um, with the dragon shot so yeah and you don't you don't get the opportunity to go and collect your coins or souls or runes or whatever whatever the case is that you lose um, there's a thing there unseen aid that so as I understand it there at the bottom where it says 12 percent if I understand it correctly that determines the amount you lose on death and that 12% I have a 12% chance to to um, not lose anything at all which is it's yeah death is very very unforgiving so far as I can see um, but also that is only used to buy stuff as far as I've um, I've noticed the little coins there the 122 you see that right at the bottom it's only used to buy stuff you get experience points that rack up skill points which you can then use to um, upgrade your character I have one skill point in him at the very moment let's see here yeah a new one um, maybe I can grab the mid reflection oh wow this is very nice yeah we're gonna grab that so you get your experience point and then that allows you to get skill points which is very nice because if i had to lose all those things on the amount of times i have died already my character would not go much further than the intro so i'm very curious to see what the rest of the game entails and what is in store for me uh, if i have repeated myself many times this is a very unscripted video <laughs> um, basically just pressed record and wanted to talk about my my initial experience in the starting area here so if you are considering trying out this game from what I have seen yet it's a very polished game frame rates are very nice uh, responsiveness on the on your inputs very very responsive and you know it is very much a get good game so far as I can tell and I'm all for it I love it so looking forward to this journey and again if you guys have any tips spoiler spoiler free of course please throw them my way um, any advice you can give for someone starting out with Sekiro because like I said this is not a Dark Souls game I am used to the Dark Souls formula of doing things this is not it it's very different um, but anyway thank you for watching may God bless you all stay tuned and consider having a look at my let's play uh, there might be funny instances so yeah thank you and god bless you all stay safe stay warm depending on where you are or stay cool depending on where you are and we'll we'll chat soon <laughs>